All right, great day inspires another Paralympic day awakes us all. My name is John Register, two-time and two-sport Paralympic athlete and silver medalist from the Games in Sydney, Australia. Men's wheelchair basketball. The United States have defended their Paralympic gold medal from the real 2016 Games in a nail-biting 64-60 victory over host nation Japan at the Tokyo 2020 Games. Great Britain takes the bronze for the second consecutive time as well. Japan dominated the third quarter and took the narrowest of leads heading into the final 10-minute period. As the two teams battled for the lead, at one stage Japan had five points up on the United States. The real 2016 champions experience prevailed as the clock began to tick down. It was a gripping match from start to finish as Japan and the United States locked horns in a tense, tight battle. While the United States outplayed the host nation in the second quarter, Scoring 14 points to put a five-point buffer between themselves and Japan, the third quarter flipped the match on its head. The final minute of the match felt like a lifetime, but missed shots from Japan and precise free throws from the Americans would be the difference in this barn burner. Now, Japan came into the match as the underdogs. Before the gold medal match, Japan's men's wheelchair basketball team had never made a medal match at the Paralympic Games, and history beckoned for them whatever the results fell. They are the first Asian nation to medal in this event. So the final results in wheelchair basketball, USA gold, Japan silver, and Great Britain with the bronze. Track and field. In the men's T-54 marathon, Baltimore, Maryland's Daniel Romanchuk won the bronze medal for Team USA. Romanchuk, who trains in Champaign, Illinois, and who struck gold in the T-54 400 meters and earned a fourth place finish in the 5,000 and 800 meters as well as fifth in the 1,500 meters, finished the 26.2 mile distance in one hour, 29 minutes, just about five minutes and three seconds behind gold medalist Hug Marcel of Switzerland. Zhang Yong won the silver. In the women's marathon, Tatiana McBannon was unable to secure a podium spot for the Americans. So the medal count as of it stands right now sees the United States jump ahead of the Russian Paralympic Committee in gold medals 37 to 36, making it the best finish for the Americans since, I believe, the 1992 Barcelona Games. The Americans are ranked fourth in overall medal counts with RPC over the United States just by about 14 overall medals. Now, I have enjoyed bringing you these updates and special reports for the past 11 days, and we still have some more work to do. So stay tuned. Thank you to all who liked, commented, shared, and tagged to your tribes. Now, for Inspired Communications International, my name once again is John Register saying go forth and inspire your world. Bye for now.